Happy Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. A Black Hawk helicopter helped lead rescuers to a lost hunter north of Silverthorne yesterday. Ground crews were searching the dense woods near Cataract Surprise Lakes when the chopper came for support around 3.30 p.m. The 50-year-old hunter was found soon after, unharmed, and thoroughly turned around. Town of Silverthorne wants to know, should it put a cap on short-term rentals? The town is surveying residents now for a decision sometime this fall. Find that survey on the town website. Breckenridge was the first local town to cap STRs. The county hopes to limit them through zoning, and every local town is now considering or has already passed a vacation rental tax. Silverthorne and CDOT are meeting tomorrow for talks about Exit 205 and what they hope to accomplish with a $700,000 traffic study. A CDOT rep. One question we have is, what about the adjacent accesses and which ones may have to close for the DDIR to function properly? And so that would be a focus of this next effort is to make sure that we're all in agreement, that we're willing to move forward, knowing that potentially certain adjacent accesses might need to close. DDIR is a diverging diamond interchange, the best solution from a decade ago that might not work anymore. Nearby roads on the possible chopping block are Stevens Way and portions of the wreck path. Eagle County is joining environmental groups to halt a new crude oil shipping line along the Colorado River. Eco officials say that line would threaten the river and their county, citing everything from potential spills to climate change. The Colorado Sun reports that line is already approved, running from Utah through Colorado on existing rail track. Teams of horses armed with expanding foam are plugging up thousands of old mine shafts in the high country. The Colorado Sun reports this work has been happening for over 40 years now. It is one of the best and easiest ways to protect wayward hikers from tumbling down abandoned shafts. Labor experts are warning of a looming strike at UPS, which could derail online shopping and even retail stores. CNN reports 6% of the nation's gross domestic product moves on UPS trucks. Contract negotiations are starting soon with one of America's oldest unions, the Teamsters Union. Epic Mountain Express wants your witty one-liners for a back-of-the-van slogan contest. Think things like, the road to snowware. Winners get a $100 gift card. Submit your ideas on Facebook by searching Epic Mountain Express. Local fire danger is high today, with no fire bans in Summit. Permits for slash burns are restricted. A small wildfire is burning south of Grand Junction on just over 100 acres of BLM land. Smoke there is minimal, though. Fire officials confirm most of today's haze is coming from fires in Idaho, Oregon, and Utah still. In sports, the Rockies beat the Brewers yesterday, 8-4. to And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Just after 8 last night, Breck local Chris Fisher set a new unofficial record for the Mosquito 10-mile traverse, traveling 38 miles and 18,500 vertical feet in 25 hours, 18 minutes, from Weston Pass to the base of Mount Royal. That includes two 14ers and 25 13ers. That feat has yet to be confirmed. Stay tuned. We'll be having Chris in the studio later today. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.